Now I'll just take in some grayish brown color and just drop in few tree trunks. Now I will say that they will be distinct. Another one there. You can have as few or as many as you want. I've just thinned down the paint for the sake of smoothness. Look at that. That comes very smoothly and very naturally. Getting all sorts of tree trunks there. One is really tall and one is slanting. So now with my number two fan brush, I've taken in that same color, but added just a bit of black into that. And let's come right over here and drop in the textures for these. Do it very gently. You can take your time. And at the bottom it will get slightly darker. I'm taking in more of black for that. Also you can make use of the tree and texture brush for this. And we'll have another set of trees growing over here. something like that on my filbert brush I've just taken in that same color added more of brown to it and let's come right over here and drop in some of those foliage on that tree and this is not a pine tree so I can be super loose with this at the top reload the brush every time and I've not loaded much of paint because this is not in the foreground. Okay, something over there, and this one's gonna have it like that. I like that. And as we come over here, let's drop in some more of that. Look at that, that gives us a beautiful effect, leaving a lots of pockets of sky and few goes off there too so now with just a touch of black i'll come right over here and just drop in the textures on this grass just a bit not much sort of creating that shadow there and some over here too in the foreground using the number two fan brush So now I've taken in some green with a touch of black in it. Let's come right over here and just drop in the generic shadows. Maybe the lights filtering across there. And some over here too. Get something like that. And some over here too. There in the middle. Use a clean finger there. Just a bit over here. Look at that. It's that easy. You can also shape your land with this. Oh yeah, I like that effect. So now I've just taken in some lime yellow to that same color. And let's come right over here and drop in the filtering of the shadows. Okay, something comes off there and this one goes off like that and another one's gonna come off right over there too okay and just try to cover up that just lightening this i felt this was a bit too dark and some over there too just added lime yellow and look at that lots of effects just a bit over there so now with my manipulated flat brush let's come right over here and drop in the highlights that's that easy i've taken in decent amount of paint I'm holding at the tip so that you can see it. 
look at that that creates so many effects dude is generic it's creating lots of effects see something like that and I'll go ahead with another accent highlight and some over here too just tap it very lightly and coming over here let's drop in another set of trees growing over here the highlights okay something like that and for this tree in the mid ground almost in the mid ground I've taken in more of paint relatively just to distinguish it from the background don't go too crazy with the highlights it goes all the way to the top and the lighter you tap it your painting will get more realistic just tap it very lightly okay something like that now I've added just a bit of white for that same color and yeah. Okay, I'll keep it like that. I'm holding the brush very loose. Very, very loose. Barely holding the brush. One more thing what I should say is that even when I'm loading the brush from the palette, I'm tapping it very lightly in the same manner the way you load the brush from the palette the same texture you're going to get on the surface if i were to use the same flat brush i wouldn't get that effect and some over here too okay just soft tap it and some over here too So the light is coming from the left I will just add a bit of highlight to be consistent on the opposite side as well but tap it very lightly after ensuring that the paint on the brush is almost over when you're doing it there your paint on the brush will get over and you can come towards the right and that is opposite direction of the light source so now it's in black I'll come right over here and drop in a few textures just a bit and add in a few of that over here too tap it very lightly okay something like that now with my rigger brush I will trace this because I painted the reflections first okay just keep it there be very accurate with that I would say somewhere over there yeah and something comes off there and this one's gonna have it right back there and I'll just go ahead and make this a bit thick and I'll take in a bit of black just a touch just do it like that and I'll just go ahead and blend them all together. Okay, something like that. And I'll just go ahead with another coat of highlight, just a bit over there, and another one's gonna come off there. And over here too, we'll have a few tree trunks showing across like that. Okay, another one there we don't want to leave them alone so we'll drop in a few over here too that yeah. barely touch the surface as soon as you feel that the brush is touching the surface lift it then you'll get all sorts of effects of that branches so we'll drop in some highlight for this tree almost in the foreground that was almost in the mid crown and here I'll go quick because I don't want to have a whole lot of detailings over here. Okay, something like that. Don't have harsh edges either. 
So in the meanwhile, let's go ahead and drop in the highlight with this and just touch. We'll drop in that same over here and another one, a big one. Okay, another one over there and a slightly mid toned one right over here. I'm gonna add in some black and you can have it over there and we'll have it right over there and that same color and just come over here on this lighter one and add in some shadows so now with my filbert brush and just go right over there and drop in a few textures and some over there too of land covered with sand so just like that just some basic negations I should be real careful there. Yeah, that's enough there. And something over here too. Hmm. And now let's go ahead and drop in the shadows of the trees which are behind the scenes. I've not loaded any paint. In fact, I've wiped off the paint from my number two combo brush and some over here too that just like that there you can even shape your land and create some shadows and now we'll have in some more over there and then get something like that and we shall have one more over here too follow the angle of the line follow the lay of the land Just adding in some boundary for that. Okay. So now I've added just a touch of yellow ochre. And let's continue for that same black color. And let's continue with those shadows coming across from there and going all the way till there, you know. Just blend it and enter itself and very lightly barely touching the surface. You wanna have too many depends and we should have the shadow of this one right over here like that. The beginning of the shadow will be darker. And as they go back, they'll get lighter and blended. And a bit of shadow for this land. Let's also cover up the edges, uncovered edges. With this, I come to the end of this painting. I hope you've enjoyed it and thanks for watching.